Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Whoop and welcome back to Minecraft Age of Engineering. When we last left off, we did a, a few little things. We wound up getting infinite lava, infinite, from the nether. And uh, I told everybody that I would t uh, let you know if I uh, figured anything out. Well, I put a set of reservoirs here and I hooked both of these up to the input. As you can see, there's some, uh, some tasty, tasty obsidian in here so what I do basically is when this tank is full I flip this lever because it activates both of them and lava and water both pour directly into the smeltery and it just goes and goes and goes and goes and gets pretty pretty high up there 15 18 19 but because of the way the the lava works and the power and things how that works yeah as you can see perfect timing thank you lava the lava does start to dwindle a little bit so when i'm making obsidian i have to literally sit here uh and and watch this so i see that lava getting low i stop the system it stops both of these and i come in here and i say oh goodness there's 30 33 buckets of water uh, of lava now in there well how could that have happened well now all I got to do here is I have a I have a manual switch for both of these, so I flip this switch and it'll pump the water in there. So now I just watch the lava, 28 buckets, 26 buckets, and basically it just makes, uh, it just turns that excess lava, you know, it's a back and forth thing, and I don't know what determines you know the the functionality of it. There's got to be an easier way to make it, but for now this is a better, at least a little bit automated way. Uh, semi-automated I should say um, of making obsidian and it's 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 a good way to make it for really fast honestly like 69 blocks I mean I just now I turned the water off I got a little bit more water than I needed that's okay so I can just flip this on just for a second and turn it off perfect perfect and then I set up this system over here to uh, I flip this little lever on there, and it uh, it dumps all of the the obsidian into this chest. I have a bunch of uh, cables under there extracting from each and every one of these basins. So, and this is just a, a simple. This circuit is just simple. It's got a lever on it, reading from the lever, going into an inter pulsar, which just pulses every so like every three seconds or every four seconds or something like or maybe maybe quicker than that every 20 ticks i think it is so every half a second it's pulsing uh and it just uh fills these guys up and you can see it's 36 blocks of, of molten obsidian still left so i mean it's not it's not fancy it's not and it's really really crude but it works it works so I just flip the switch when I need obsidian, and then the obsidian the obsidian is automated, basically. I don't have to touch any of this. And we can keep an eye on it. 18 blocks left, 13 blocks. There's, it does, there's a lot of blocks at one time. I could add on to this, but, eh, I mean, it's, it's quick enough for my needs when I'm using it for off-camera purposes. Uh, and I just keep an eye on this. Yep, when I see that it's low, I just turn it off. So that way, none of the ex excess, and we got 30, 36 millibuckets in there, so it's no big deal. As you can see, when I open this chest, I have been running this for quite some time. Um, I played around with it, tinkering with it here and there to get it just right. This is about the best system that I could come up with. So basically, just to let everybody know, these uh, this reservoir is pumping straight into the smeltery drain. This uh, the lava from the end, or the, the nether, the lava from the nether is pumping directly into this, this fluid tank, and the fluid tank is pushing out, um, when I activate this lever, or that lever, it puts all the lava in there. But anyway, regardless, now that we've actually got lava, and actually got a way to make obsidian, as, just grab a stack, we can now make tons and tons and tons more dark steel, but... If you're looking at this right here, we're running really, really low on uh, iron, like severely low on iron. I got less than ha less than a stack of iron. So today, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our uh, environmental tech void ore miner, and we're going to upgrade it to level two. Granted, I have enough stuff. I'm hoping I do. I'm hoping I do. 
So in order for us to get to, to tier two, we go from 24 of tier one structure blocks to 32 of the other uh, to the tier two structure blocks. So we're going to need an extra extra. Let's see, six makes 30. So another eight structure blocks. So that's not too bad. So let's look uh, for structure. Structure block, tier one structure. So we need some gold, some basalt. Let's just grab eight basalt, basalt. There we go. We need 16 gold. Sixteen. Uh, let's see. Uh, need sixteen of uh, redstone. There we go. Sixteen there, and we just need some electrical steel. Hope I hopefully have enough electrical steel that I don't have to to make more. Because if I do have to make more, that means I have to go mining. Uh, which is is going to leave us with a bad time. So okay, so we have enough now to make are eight more so uh, it's i think it's this uh, i need to do this this and this and then this this should be structure tier one so we get eight more perfect perfect Ooh, it leaves us with only three electrical steel left but uh so now we need to go and make these into tier two which is not so bad not so bad so we need some restonia crystals which uh, I'll just grab three blocks and convert them. There we go. Let's see what else do we need. We need, whoops, uh, ore miner. We need 16 machine bases. So we don't need as many machine bases, which is good. We need four modifier core or any upgraded version. So modifier core. Let's look. Modifier. So, modifier core is just uh, electrical steel. Uh, it's more electrical steel. Oh, no. Uh, that's not going to be good. That's not going to be good at all. Because I am completely... I don't know. Maybe I have some hidden around somewhere. Uh, I'm hoping. I'm crossing my fingers. I do. Because, like, we're running completely, like, severely low on iron. <laughs> Like, super, super low on iron. And I didn't realize that we were... Hey, there's some extra dark steel. I could totally use that. Uh, where is all of my stuff? Okay. So, we're going to have to make some more... Oh, well, we're getting... We're getting a little bit. So, eight pieces. So, we need eight this... And then we need uh, silicon, silicon, silicon. Let's go to the back and grab our uh, grab us some silicon. We need eight pieces of silicon. So if we just make what is needed rather than like I've been doing it in bulk. So if we can only make what is needed, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to do what we need to do. So but while that is cooking up, let's look at the other. We need uh eight or how many do, of these do we need we need four of these so we need uh one two three four five so 40 blocks of aluminium hopefully this works Hopefully we can get 40. It looks like we might be able to. So that's 16. That's 22. 28. That might be enough. We only need four of these. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. Okay, my math was bad. My math, my math was bad. So we didn't need that many. So we, we've got enough for that now. So now we just need the electrical steel. We need some all the way around. We're going to need more. I, I can see that already. We're going to need more. Yep. We're going to need a lot more. So there we got two. 
so how many more do we need? We need one plus four. So one plus four. Go back here, get our silicon. One plus four. We're going to make this. Worst case scenario, we're going to make it. If I have to go mining, we'll make it. So hopefully I don't have to go mining. But, yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this back down. Because I don't need it. Well, I might, but who knows. All right. So while that's cooking up, let's look at the other things that we need. So we're going from two laser cores to three laser cores. So we're going to need another laser core. Laser. Laser core. Uh, da, 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 right here. So we just need uh, some, quite, uh, some clear glass. Two pieces of iron. We're going to be cutting this close. We're going to be cutting this really, really close. But, I mean, as, as we speak, our iron, you know, is up because of our resource miner. But as soon as we get this done, we'll be able to get uh, more ore a lot more quickly. A lot quickly? A lot more quickly? Proper English? No idea. Uh, so we're going to make this core here. So I just need some quite clear glass. I don't really remember how to make the clear glass. Uh, clear glass is just enriched sand. Oh, yeah, we can make that. No problem. We can make that. No problem. So let's grab, let's just do a stack. Let's do a stack there. Stack there. And put this together. And then throw it in our, our nifty, nifty, speedy furnace. Oh, I love it. I love it. Um... Where is that going? Do I have a, a place for the quite clear glass? I do. I did not know this. Okay, well, we've got plenty of quite clear glass then. Interesting. I don't remember that being there. Alright, so now that we've got that... So we can put our quite clear glass here. So give us our extra power core or laser core. So one, I know there's one more thing we needed. Uh, no, actually we got everything. So once once this is done, it should be done. And we can make the modifier cores. So we've got four modifier cores. So now all we need is to grab our tool. Uh, if I can find it, which is right there. So now, here comes the fun part. We get to dismantle the rest, or, or the dismantle what is previously there. Uh, and it does take more room. So that's the, that's the only problem that I can see as of right now. It's going to take more room. So we're going to have to dig out a little bit more of an area. So luckily enough for us, we have our trusty um, augments that we can put in our drill. Uh, we're not really doing... I don't really care for speed. Let's just put the, the bigger drill pieces in there. So let's go... This way. Couple. Um, there we go. Let's just do it like that. And then I want to... Do it... We're right here there we go perfect and then I can do this on the floor all right let's take the five out and put the speed back in oh wow that, that makes it a lot faster and indeed it does uh, so let's see let's read our little uh, our little tablet here because it does tell you, it does tell you, it goes from space required 7x4x7 seven by by seven to be requiring 7x5x7. Seven by seven. So it's going to stay the same shape, it's just going to go down deeper one. So that shouldn't be an issue. So we're just going to make it uh, a little bit deeper down this way.
and then we're going to replace the lights. Uh, that should be okay. Go out one this way. And one more. I want to make sure we have plenty of room. Because I don't want to uh, make a mistake and not make enough room. And then I have to come back and try to figure out what is actually... Uh, like if if I miss like one block, then I'm gonna be like, okay, where's this one block I have to go? So we've got it all the way around. It looks good, yeah. So let's build ourselves a walkway out of here. There we go. So now let me uh, take my three by out, put put it up. I hear you over there, Enderman. Let's, uh, let's put all this in here. Because luckily enough for us, this goes straight to the uh, the the system over there. So, yeah, don't have to really worry about anything. All right. So let's take this chest. Uh, I don't know that's if I have to mess up with that chest or not. Let's just take all these blocks off. I uh, want to make sure I put my magnet on and if even if it messes up my set system right next door I need to make sure I magnet these pieces up because I do not need to lose these not at all uh, So let's take a look uh, let me make sure I got everything set up here. We got 32 there. Uh, base salt machines. Okay, we're good. Three laser cores. So now we need to, to do two things. And here, here's where the fun part comes into play. We're going to have to upgrade this piece right here. Um, maybe I should have took it down first and replaced it. Uh, we'll, we'll fix it. Watch. Just get my way out here. There we go. I need to grab this, and we're going to have to upgrade it to tier 2. So let's get out of here. And to upgrade it to tier 2, we're going to need uh, another void ore miner controller in level 1. So we need another piece of iron ore. Luckily enough for me, I've been keeping uh, iron and, and diamond and nether quartz over here um, for safekeeping just in case so in order for us to get to tier two we need another tier one so so we need four blocks another clear lens so let me let me go grab the quite clear glass because now that i know i actually have some let's grab another stack of it and let's make our lens so, if I'm not mistaken, the lens is this with this. Yep. And then, what else did we need? We needed another laser core, which... Two. Two and the quite clear glass. So, two there, two there. And laser core. That uh, should be it. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Okay. So now that we've got that, we can put this and this, and then we just need our four gold blocks. So luckily enough, we have enough gold. So one, two, three, four. Grab all this up and put it away. So here is our another Void R Minor Tier 1. So we've got two Tier 1s. So now we need to make it to tier two. So we need four diamond. Oh, oh wait, we need three. Uh, okay. I mean, that's not a big deal. I thought we only need two, but that's fine. We just grab one and one and one. Uh, so do this, this, this. Uh, we're gonna need another lens, which is three here across, with three around or all the way around. And then we need another laser core. So two there, two there. So redstone goes on the sides. 
and then the clear glass goes like that or is it like this that's like that okay so here we go <clears throat> we're gonna need another four of the gold luckily we have gold oh it looks like I, I am using the last little bit of our gold as well that doesn't seem healthy there we go put all this back yep we're completely out of gold so luckily enough for us we have everything already done taken care of um so we really 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 need this void or miner to be up and running now so here we go two three tier threes we need four stacks of diamonds four diamond blocks so there there's the four diamond blocks cool thing good thing we do have diamonds because yeah it's gonna be bad if we didn't so we've got this all right so what do we need now we just need another clear lens and another laser core so we've been making these no problem so another clear lens here we go clear lens activate and then we need four here redstone on the sides iron up and down or it's I've, i always get it backwards but I, I eventually get it there we go so lens in the middle da, 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 tier two yes yes tier two oh my goodness so happy so much happy days happy days happy days all right so let's take our tier two and let's go activate it let's go make sure that this thing gets up and running all right so we're, what i'm going to do is i'm going to place it back where it was right up against here and then i'm going to take my little assembler and i gotta do this let's get on top um get on top of it this way so that way we're not interfering with the build and let it build something wrong oh 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 one thing I did forget I made the I made the ore miner tier two I forgot to make these tier two so let's take this and look what I need to make it for tier two. So we just need to put some Restonia there. So we need 32. I uh, need a lot more Restonia. How are we doing for redstone? Oh, we're doing good. We're doing good. So let's make some redstone blocks. And let's just go over here and throw them there. Perfect. Ah, yes. That, that should be good. So we put 32 there. That should be good. All right. So now we need 30 or we just need a stack of diamonds because we'll need 32 on top, 32 on bottom. Let me take away these until we get 32. So it, it looks symmetrical because otherwise I'm, my OCD is going to be like, okay, enough of that. So now we just need a bunch of vibrant alloy if i'm not mistaken which i'm gonna have to make some more and i'm almost out of gold that's not cool um yeah it looks like we're gonna need more i mean we've got a lot of it pre-made uh let's see how many we actually need so if i make this 32 so i need uh at least another stack So we'll get that cooking. Uh, I might put this. Uh, I probably need to make another another uh, alloy smelter so this can go super, super fast. Uh, while I have this working, let me go back over here. Let me put my magnet away.
Nice. Okay. I, uh, I rearranged that because I wound up uh, or rewiring that because it wound up making a mess. Uh, I've gone over there a few times and there's just scat, you know, a bunch of uh, canola seeds all over the ground. So I just decided to to make it to where when it when it flickers to drop one, it shoots the laser. Uh, that's the only thing I know how to do. All right, keep it running, keep it running. Put that in there. If I if I have to take if it takes every single bit of this vibrant alloy that I have to get this up and running, then that's what it's going to take because we need this up and running. So so far so good. We only need uh, thirty. Oh, well, thirty here and thirty two here, so sixty two more. Oh, we're going to need more. We're going to need more. Uh, let me check around, make sure I don't have any extras in here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to make some more. I might have to go mining. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait. Uh, give me just a second to get everything up and running. Um, I wanna make sure that all of these get made. And uh, when uh, we'll, we'll find out whether or not I need more when we come back. I'm just waiting on this to smelt, so be right back. Well, I'm back. Well, come to find out, I only needed 12 more. So I just took 12 pieces of gold and 12 redstone and 12 glowstone, made myself some energetics, grabbed 12 ender pearls, and there we go. We only needed 12, so hopefully this makes... Oh! All right, so we have one extra. No problem. No problem. It's better to have extra than not enough. So here we go. Tier 2, 32, tier 2 blocks. Awesome. Awesome. So this should now... This should work. Let me up there. Thank you. Okay, maybe I just have to walk. All right, so let's grab, get back up on top of here with our assembler uh am i blocking is it being blocked i don't know maybe i need to break this out There's not enough room somewhere. Oh, I see. I see. The torches may have been in the way. But we're going to clean this out anyway for future iterations of these machines. Because, yeah. It looks like it's all the way up against the wall. So it's a little bit bigger. It's actually a little bit bigger. So the, the guide actually says 7x7x4. Seven by seven by but or seven by seven by five where or the first one was seven seven, seven by four by seven and it, it fit perfectly this one is like touching against the wall uh so it's a little bit bigger so let me grab my three by and put it in here there we go so it is it is a just a tad bit bigger so make sure that you uh you you clear out the appropriate space i'm gonna clear out more than i need now since i kind of get the idea of what how big it is or how what how big it is about how big it is so i'm gonna clear it just a little bit more fill in the f uh well that one can't be filled in but i can fill the rest of this in so that i can actually walk on it there we go Oops. Well. I should be good enough. Let's grab these three. And fill this flooring in so I can walk on it. Ba 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 da 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 da
Don't know why I always default to Christmas music, but it works. Okay, so now that that's done, we should be able to get up here. And complete this structure. Multi blocks assembly complete. Yeah. All right. So let's put a uh, let's put some light up in this in this room, so that way we don't get monster spawns and creatures and things of that nature. So like that. That should work. I mean, that's there's another torch right here already. So let's lower it down. Press F7, and as we can see, there's uh, some dark spots over here, and we fixed it. We replaced it. And the laser's burning. All right, all right. So this one is a lot faster, according to the uh, the guide. Uh, Void or Miner. This one, uh, duration, 400 ticks. So roughly, like, I don't know, see... 20 to 200 ticks is five seconds i think so it's, it's it's roughly five or six seconds and then whoops with the new one with the, this tier two it takes 64 ticks so a much less considerable time um and we can even upgrade this even further with the modification cores because we can go because we i just made them blank the modification cores that i put in there are just blank but we could do speed shortens the process time that uh doesn't work on generators but shortens the process time of of, of it working uh piezo energy from vibrations like rain generation uh, generates uh rf uh accuracy modifier increases accuracy works on void miners makes it where if you're getting something specific you throw a specific uh thing in there and it grabs the specific item flight uh night vision uh haste i don't think that works strengthen Water breathing, regen, uh, none of these look like it, it works for that. So we could speed it up. What does it take to speed? Ugh, gold. Ugh, ugh, ugh. It also takes mica, which we need a uh, resource miner for, because that's the only way to get mica. So hopefully this this is working. This is speeding up. We've gotten a lot. We've gotten a lot of gunpowder. Hopefully this is working. Um, oh, it probably would help if I put a uh, a torch or a lever on it because I don't think it runs without a lever. So turn it on. And we can watch it. Hopefully we'll see some ore pop populate here in just a second. Hopefully. I mean, it's it's it sees the ground, right? It sees the the void. Yep. Okay. And uh, as we oh ooh, oh hey 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 back off there, Mister Three by. Okay. So hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to uh, in the future make some upgraded uh, upgrades for it. The speed upgrade is probably one of the things that we're going to look into getting. Uh, but first, we need to build a, like I said, a void or miner, which we probably look in taking care of after we get some resources. Uh, right now, we're just we're hurting super bad for resources. So hopefully, this this will work. Hopefully, we're not out of energy. Uh, let me take my magnet off. All right, we're we're good on power. Yeah, I might need to change this. Because okay, we're not getting enough... Apparently we're not getting enough uh, seeds. But anyway, I could take care of this off camera. Just a little bit of minor details. Things of that nature. But we can make seeds manually if we have to. There we go. That should take care of it for a little while. But anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you do have any other tips, tricks, or any other things that you would like me to, to build within this series, please let me know. I do my best to, to listen to every comment and read every comment that there is. 
Uh, and yeah, I see what you guys are saying. See what uh, what all you want as far as the series goes. Uh, other than that, we are. I think what we're going to completely do is start working on the jetpack again here pretty soon, so that way we can at least fly to a degree, and we don't have to really worry about too much. Um, I mean, that's that's the least of my worries. It's been sitting there this whole time, so. It is one of those things that we'll get to, but we, we really need to get our resources back under par, which uh, hopefully getting this void, void ore miner will help. Uh, just a quick glance. Let's see what it would take. So we have 32 structure tier twos and 16 machine bases. So if we wanted to go from tier three to tier or, or tier two to tier three, we would need almost double uh, well, about what? 20 26 more or 24 more uh structure blocks we will need uh, a lot more machine base uh modify our cores go from four to eight which is not too bad and then one more laser core which is not too bad honestly let's actually see what it would take to get a a, a tier three it would just take another ore miner tier two and some stabilized ender pearls, which is in diamond, which is made in the atomic calculator with in stone, electric diamonds, and obsidian. Mm. So I don't know if that's beyond my grade right now as it is. Uh, atomic calculator triggers age 8, so that gives me my answer there. So that is one thing that we'll just have to wait on to get to tier 3, which is no big deal. Hopefully this uh, this ore miner will... will do good. Uh, it looks like I need another uh, thing for my in for my yeah. Our gunpowder's full, so let's go ahead really quickly with to wrap up this episode. I know I probably should have already wrapped it up, but let's. This is just the woes that I go through every single day. Uh, and now that we have a, a means of getting obsidian, this is going to be super easy. So four pieces. Oops, four pieces. Four sticks. And this, and then boom. Easy as you please. There's an upgrade. Awesome. Anyway, that, with that being done and that being said, thank you everybody for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, please do remember to give it a big thumbs up. And like I said, if there's any tips, tricks, or comments, questions, or concerns, please make sure you use that comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. But other than that, thank you everybody so much for watching. And until next time. See you later.